Good morning. Welcome to today's meditation. I don't want to call it the 10-minute meditation because I'm not exactly sure how long this one's going to go. I felt it necessary since this is going to be a totally different type of meditation that we've gone on that uh, we not block out just 10 minutes. However, if at any time you need to jump out, just say a closing prayer, pull yourself in and jump out. I'm going to just kind of go with the flow and I'll put a time limit um, because I am. <laughs> okay. We're actually going to journey on this meditation. We're going to do the prayer of protection and the Lord's prayer. And we're going to add one more prayer of protection because we are literally going to journey far from our bodies, but still being connected. So we'll add in the St. Michael's prayer of protection. At that point, we're going to raise ourselves up to a beautiful star that is above us and come down from directly below that star to where the nativity is and just have the opportunity to experience it. Is that possible to actually see what has occurred over 2,000 years ago um, in a meditation? And yes, it is. I've done this many times. It's just breathtakingly, it's not even a beauty as in what your eyes behold, because in that respect, it's not, but it is. It's so hard to explain. You could also do this for parts of your own life going back like really for details to understand what was going on around you because maybe you were too young to know. Um, you can do this for future events, but we won't get into that. So today, we're really going to enjoy being present at the nativity and experience what is going on, but not just experience it as a witness watching we're going to move ourselves into that energy next to the shepherds. The kings aren't there yet, so we're not going to be near the kings. But next to the shepherds, next to the animals, smell the smells, feel the energy. There is no energy like this anywhere else. It is unbelievable. So as I say in the uh, beginning, my little write-up, hold on to your Christmas stockings. And let's get started. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, and begin to relax. Take another deep breath, and while exhaling, invite yourself to relax and let go. Begin to scan your body and notice, is there any tightness, any nervousness, any uncomfortableness? Bring your attention to that spot and invite your body to relax and let go. Notice how your body follows your mind. Mind is the builder. From this quiet, relaxed state, let us begin with the prayer of protection. As I approach the throne of grace, beauty, and might, I throw about myself the protections found in the thought of the Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And we pray one more prayer. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who roam about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. From this quiet, comfortable place, look up above your head, way up in the sky, 
there's a star brighter and more brilliant than any star you've ever seen. It is spectacular in size and in glory. You feel yourself compelled to pull up toward this star. So let us start from our second chakra, Adantian, just below our belly button. Knowing we are well grounded and well established in our root chakra, and that we will always be attached to our body and just traveling along this beautiful light, we allow our second chakra to get stronger and move more powerfully. And we invite the energy to move up to our solar plexus, which is about three inches above our belly button. Allow the energy to swirl and intensify. Now you have the second and third chakra moving very rapidly and powerfully. Remembering you are always anchored to your root chakra so you are safe as you move up to your chest and your heart chakra. That energy opens up now and reaches to your throat opening your throat chakra, moving up to your third eye in the middle of your head. And as we arise, we say, arise my spirit and meet thy maker. Reach up out of your body and just look at that star and move up. Feel yourself moving up through the air, safe, comfortable. It's like you're floating rapidly upward. And as you start to approach the star, you notice you're in space. Yet this star is more brilliant than the sun. Just as you get close, stop and just admire this massive star, which if you look closely, appears to be millions of angels gathered together, brilliantly sparkling. Listen, you can hear them sing. Feel the need now to turn around and look down from where you are. There is the earth, so small and perfect. Allow the star's energy to guide you directly down from where it points. Almost like a quick elevator, you move down directly coming into the Earth's atmosphere, feeling the shift of energy. We come down around this mountain area. And there is a small little stable, not much of a shelter, but just enough for the animals. Let us allow our spirits and our souls to lower down to just outside, about 20 yards away. Just notice the energy. Just notice the vibration. There are no words that can explain this intense energy. Love is just so insufficient. Now gently and quietly walk toward this stable. 
notice there were men and young boys all kneeling in astonishment. Peek over their shoulders, move in. There's plenty of room. He knows you are coming, so there is a place for you. Take your place. Smell the hay. Feel the cold. Now release it. This is a cold place. It is dark, yet it is brilliantly bright and comfortably warm. This is a sacred place. Notice the man Joseph kneeling guard over the child and his mother. Notice the beautiful Mother Mary holding the baby Jesus. She's looking at you and then holds her hand out. She's inviting you to come close. She moves a bit of the clothing, a bit of the swaddling cloth that's around the beautiful baby. So you can see his little face. What a gift. Moving back to the spot that was reserved for you. Let us sit in appreciation and awe of this wonderful moment. Let us be grateful. Notice now Joseph looks up at you and he asks you what you would like. And we respond, knowledge and understanding of this beautiful miracle that we may truly understand and bring the love forth in our life, bring his love through us. Joseph smiles and nods. And now you feel your body filling up, overflowing with divine love and understanding. Let us stay here for a while.
Listen, listen and you'll hear the seraphim singing and a mighty cherubim Notice more and more shepherds are coming. More and more people are amazed. You feel now, even though you don't choose or want to leave, that you need to go. Before leaving, you approach and kiss the ground near the Christ. feeling your spirit lifting up, passing these beautiful seraphim and cherubim. <clears throat> Feel yourself pulling back into your body, knowing that this was not your imagination. This was so you were granted such a gift settling into your body, pulling yourself fully in, gently rolling energy up the front of you, gently rolling the energy up the back of you and over your head. We close with the 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Okay, that is a very altering, very powerful meditation, but journey. So we basically journeyed in a meditative state. And I hope and pray that you received the beautiful gifts that were there, as I have. <clears throat> I'm still quite altered and moved by this whole situation. I wish you all a merry, merry Christmas, joyful, loving. And should something not be right, should somebody say something, just close your eyes for a second. Take a breath and bring yourself back to that spot. Feel that energy, that unconditional, no words can express energy. And bring it back into the present again with you. It is always here for us. In the meantime, I will see you uh, day after Christmas. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye now.